Welcome back to Trade Delicious, everyone. Today I'm joined with Anna FX. Anna, it's so good to finally meet you in person. I know we've done lots of live streams together for everyone at home. How are you finding Traders Day Live, the whole event? You've had a speech. How are you going? I am too excited. My shoulders are still up, but now I'm just trying to relax. And uh, it's been a very eventful day so far. And it is just excitement and nervous all together, butterflies in the tummy and and. Uh, but mostly it's like excitement and to, to see everyone live, you know, I thought you will be shorter, but you're very tall. Um, and it's just like trying to just to meet everyone as well and to talk as many people as you can. So it's been really, really eventful. No, I understand. We've met so many people that I do live streams with all the time. It's yep. just that exact, just not what I expected. You know, you see yep. their face so often, but when you see them in flesh, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. You did a speech earlier today about the five secrets to, mm -hmm. to getting funded. Mm -hmm. You've got a, a pretty incredible achievement which you've done recently. You've scaled to seven figures. Yay! That is incredible. <laughs> I mean, the last time we spoke, you had just scaled to the three hundred thousand yeah. dollar account, and we were talking about how you were transitioning into mm -hmm. that phase. How have you found not only achieved that transition, but done it a few more times, mm -hmm. and now you're you're literally a seven figure trader. Oh, breathe. <laughs> um, I mean, I took your advice because you said once you scale account, you need to calm down and then take a lower risk, way, way lower. So I definitely took your advice. But then people ask, so how did you scale it? Honestly, looking at the market now, it's a really great market to be in. The trend is bullish. Now everybody knows that GU EU is flying. So what I did, I did profit on that. So in May, I scaled account, I made 10%. And then in two weeks in June, I made another 10%, which is insane when you think about it. So I scaled my account in twice in mm. such a short period of time. But um, again, it's not because you know I'm special or anything like that, um, but it's because the market has been really good, easy to read. Um, and I said that you could buy blindly GU and you would still win. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. And maybe you can say I was lucky, but I don't think it's not that much of the luck. It's just the trading conditions been really, really good. And, and now I just need to calm down seven figures. It's a big responsibility. We talked about the responsibility as well that you're managing big funds. So now I need to come up with a plan where I feel comfortable mm. when it comes to risk. So I am trying to take time out. And then when I'm ready, again, taking your advice, we'll come in with way, way less risk. I, I think your story is one motivational story for mm -hmm. a lot of people because so many people have this perspective that the only way you're ever going to get that big of a trader or that big of an account is if you're a full-time day trader, you're mm -hmm. in there on the charts all the time. You're a very busy mum. Mm -hmm. How do you juggle <laughs> trading and, and achieving that while also being a full-time parent? Yeah, it, it's definitely a challenge because um, it's not easy. Four kids, so I have four kids, 12, 10, 8, and 6-year-old. Mm. And the thing is, it's routine. And I have trained my kids, first of all, so they know when mum is in the office, she's trading, so it's better not to disturb her because if you do, I'll turn into a lion. <laughs> you don't want that. So, but oh, no, all the jokes aside is what really helps is the routine. And people have no idea how much it actually helps. So waking up in the morning, first I go for my quiet time, then I get kids ready to the school. And when they are in the school, I come back home in the office, house is quiet, unbelievably quiet, <laughs> and uh, even suspicious quiet. <laughs> but no, 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 kids are in the school and then I can actually focus. And mm -hmm. you know what, lately I've, I've found that many say less is more, but it's really hard to do that less is more. So now what I have found is once I have a good setup, I'll finish my day. If I had my setup like nine o'clock in the morning, I finish my day and I'm not going back to the charts. I'm focusing on other things like, for example, Discord. Mm. Now, because I'm head of the Discord for the Fibers. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That's another achievement, right? Um, I'm going to focus on the Discord and giving the traders all the education I can give and share my 
uh, my knowledge that I have gained. But um, yes, definitely going back to your question, it's routine. It's definitely what helps me. You're ticking boxes with achievements, not not just in training. I mean, you just stood up in front of 100 people and taught them all about that. How do you feel? Uh, that was something else. <laughs> it's different to being on camera, right? Yes. Like now it's just it's just me and you and the camera, right? Yeah. Um, and a cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, when it was like live, I was really um, nervous yeah. and it was scary because it's like new to me. And, um, but the thing is, what I tried to think when I was doing the presentation, it's not about me, it's about what I give to the people who mm. are looking at me right now. So it, with that kind of keeping that in mind, it was way easier and I could just lift down my shoulder. So yeah. I was like, just be cool. <laughs> when when so. did you start trading? So the trading journey has been like 10 years ago, right? Okay. So that was the first time I heard about trading. Yeah. At that time I was broke student heard about trading, went actually in live event as well. Obviously not nothing like this, it was mm. like a live study group. Yeah. And, uh, um, and then quickly realized if you wanna be a trader, you need money. Yeah. As a student, I didn't have any money. So it just fell apart. And then I moved to Scotland. Um, English is not my first language, by the way. Uh, Surprisingly, just a... <laughs> I'm surprised by that, the, the Scottish accent, so uh, So I went, I moved to Scotland and then started to look again into Forex. Mm. And um, it took me a while, and but you know what, I'm proud of it. It took me years, about five years, to get to profitability. Mm -hmm. And some can take six months, some can take five years. I think we all learn differently. There will be people who will laugh, you know, oh, you did it in five years. But I did it, and I'm good at it now, so it's like just part of the journey. So five years to consistency. When you started, did you think you'd be chatting at a live event, teaching trades? Oh no! And are you proud of yourself looking back? Yes, it's I am, me. definitely. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't have ever thought that I would even like share on my YouTube channel <laughs> yeah. or like I would share publicly in social media. I would never thought about it. But then I can tell you this. Um, it's definitely a lot of benefits I see. It's also like my confidence, me growing as a person, but it's also knowing that my journey can inspire others and that it helps them to see my failure. Because I shared everything, you know, mm. I shared that I blew account. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it just goes ups and downs, but like lately, lately now, it just do, it does feel like I'm ticking every single box of my, you know, like goals. Um, but it's definitely, I, I appreciate and I have gratitude towards it, what I have achieved and mm. I'm really grateful to uh, be here. Fantastic. AnnaRFX, everyone, you can check her out at YouTube slash AnnaRFX. Am I right in saying that? Yes, yep. I hope so. <laughs> and uh, and uh, on a Trade Delicious live stream very soon. Yes. We're going to bring you back once we get the technical difficulties out of the way. Yeah, once we get them out of the way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.